Hey everybody, Mike Wolford here, and today we're making another low carb treat for you, and it is spinach artichoke dip. Now one of the things I see a lot on the online forums, whether it be Facebook or, or wherever, is people are always looking for a keto type snack. And I think this one will help us out. So it's super simple to make. You gotta have yourself about 30 minutes. Let's get to making it. So for this episode, we're using 14 ounces of artichoke hearts, 10 ounces of chopped spinach, a third of a cup of sour cream, quarter of a cup of mayo, quarter of a cup of cream cheese. We're using about half a cup of grated Romano cheese, half a tablespoon of minced garlic, one tablespoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of paprika, one tablespoon of minced onions, and about a tablespoon of salt and pepper, but we will do that to our liking. So I already put the 10 ounces of spinach in here, and I drained the artichoke hearts. So I'm just gonna throw them in there. And I'm gonna give them a good mash in. Next thing we're gonna do, put our onions in. We take our garlic and put it in. Take our cayenne pepper. Take our paprika. We're gonna add our cream cheese now, that's at room temperature, into the mix. Make sure we get the sides as well. Get everything together. We're going to take our mayo, throw it in. And last but not least, our sour cream. That's all mixed in there together. I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and pepper. Now that is a good mix right there. Looking good. Give a little taste. Mmm. Man, it tastes good already. So before we put our spinach artichoke dip into the pan for cooking, I'm going to spray it down a little bit. Gonna put it in the pan. Flatten it out a little bit, like so. Give it one more taste. Hmm. Yeah. Now we're gonna put it in the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. Okay, so we're gonna put this into the oven now for about 25 minutes at 350. I'm gonna set our time, 25 minutes, and engage. At this point, it's been 20 minutes. It's time to put the Romano cheese onto the spinach artichoke dip and then put it back into the oven at the same temperature for another five minutes until the cheese melts. So we're sitting right now at 25 minutes and just some change. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. What do you think of that? All right, let's take it over to the counter. So let's take a look at this in a different light. This is done. Cheese is melted. Let's get ready to scoop some up on a cracker. Try it out. Let's try it out with a cracker, like we were saying. Put on there, ho oh, ho, look at, you can see the steam coming out. This is really warm. Let's try it out. Mm. Mm. 
That is really good. Here's the deal, guys. If I were to eat this whole thing sitting down, I would have 26 carbs and 9 grams of sugar. Now, you guys got to kind of remember here, too, the spices and the onions that we use, they add carbs to this. I'll give you an example. The dehydrated onions, four carbs, one sugar. That was just for one tablespoon. The cayenne pepper, the paprika, all add to this. But the beauty part is, if I were to just sit down and eat this whole thing, I would only have 26 grams of carbs. That's a killer. And nine sugars. These things are what you gotta watch out for. What you put this dish on, four of these is 12 grams of carbs. No bueno, man, no bueno. So anyhow, there you go. The recipe's down below on how to do this. Super simple, takes you about 35 minutes to put together, but I guarantee people are gonna love it and you're gonna like it and people are not even going to know that this is low carb. This thing is full of flavor. All right guys, we'll talk to you next time. Remember, the Duda Bites, this time with spinach artichoke dip. Dig it, we'll talk to you later.